we come to the time of our worship service that we have our children's message. So I invite all the kids and kids at heart forward. I got a treat for you guys, okay? Emphasis on treat. Oh. Did you guys come here hungry? Macy, why are you cringing? What's the matter? You don't like dog treats? No, this one is beef and bacon flavor, though. That's pretty good. You guys like beef and bacon, right? Which is not dog treats, right? What are these for? Who gets these? It's kind of in the name, right? You do not look like dogs. No, you're right. But it is for dogs. So why would you give dogs dog treats? What happened? Because they're, oh, that'll work too, yeah. He, he may not know if he likes dog treats or not yet, so we'll just put it over here. <laughs> Morning, Jackson. So we give dog treats to dogs because they've been good boys or girls, right? Do you guys have any dogs? Does, do any of you all have dogs? I think you all have dogs, right? Have you given your dogs treats? You stopped giving them. Well, that's okay. Sometimes too many treats is a bad thing, right? But so have does your dogs ever do like tricks in order to get treats? Yeah, have you ever seen that? Like Grace, do you, does your dog do any tricks? No, just begs, right? Oh, okay, have you guys ever seen the videos like there's a treat out and then a uh, dog can sit, maybe roll over, maybe play dead? Right? Yes, sit and shake. That's right. Yeah. So, and then what happens after they do their trick? They get the treat then, yeah? So then they get the reward for being a, bo a good boy or girl. Well, I want to talk to us this morning about that I think sometimes that we, uh, we consider God as handing out treats to us, dog treats to us. And we do our little tricks, like that we read our Bibles, or that we, that we pray. And then in order for God to give us little treats, to give us things that we want. But is that a good thing? Is that a good approach? Should we treat God like he's handing treats out to us? No, no. We should not do that. Because the Lord, he's, he does so many things for us. He is so generous that... Even the things that maybe we would want, maybe if we want more money so that we can buy uh, a new tablet or a new bike or sh that we ask God for those things, it's not good to, to ask God to do those kind of things like a treat, but God has given us such an amazing gift already in sending his son to us so that we can be uh, called sons and daughters and that we can be in God's family. So... I want us to um, think about the, the story in Job, where Job, no matter what circumstance came his way, that he still gave God honor and praise. So we don't go to God and praise him just when times are good, you know, or when we need him, but we, we, tr we praise God in all our walks of life, just as Job did, okay? So we don't go to God in hope to get what we want. We go to God so that we can honor and praise him. Okay, so next time we pray, let's not act like we're, we're a, a puppy um, doing a trick, but we're doing it in service to God and to praise and honor him for what he has done in our lives. Okay, will you guys pray with me as we, as we ask God to do that for us? Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we, we come before you this morning. Um, I mean, oftentimes that we come to you, Lord, um, for things that we, we need in the short term, um, we kind of maybe even sometimes that we bargain, Lord, if we, if we act a, a little bit better, Lord, if you could change our circumstance for us. But, Lord, we know that um, that's not how you operate. That's not what, uh, what you have called us to be. We're, we're called to be uh, agents. We're called to be um, beacons of light in this community, Lord. And so that no matter what happens in our lives, whatever season we're in, whether it's a happy time, a sad time, or a hurting time, Lord, that we turn to you and that we give you the honor and praise that you deserve. Lord, and we know that anything that we ask for, it pales in comparison to what you have already given us, and that is your, your son, Jesus Christ, who, who is our Savior, our Redeemer, our Lord, and our King. 
We just pray in all things that we do, Lord, that we honor and that we praise you. And all God's kids say, amen. amen. All right, before you guys go, because you guys were such good kids, I want to give you guys a treat, okay? You sure you didn't want these? Let's see. How about now? I put it in a Ziploc bag so it doesn't smell like bacon, okay? All right, you can go back to your seats. Thank you.